How are you all? I hope you all are fine and safe at your home, and I hope you are doing well. My name is Roini Gadre from Goshala MPS. Today I am going to teach you subject maths. So before we start our topic, let's we will begin with our small prayer. So everyone, student, join your hand, close your eyes, and repeat after me. Dear God. Be near us here in our class today. Take our hands and guide us in all we do or say. Remind us that we cannot do anything we wish without your help. Be with us in our homes too, and bless us in your loving care. Okay, students. Today. I am going to teach you a topic, division. Before we start the topic of division, then you already know what are the addition, subtraction, multiplication. Yes or no? Addition means what you are doing in addition. We are adding the numbers. Okay, we are doing the plus. And what we are, what we are doing in subtraction? We are doing the minus. We are taking away in subtraction. Yes or no? And in multiplication, what we do in multiplication? Yes, we multiply the numbers with the help of the table. We multiply the numbers. Yes, good, Roshni. So now we are going to learn division. Can you tell me, student, what do you mean by division? What do you mean by division? Can anyone tell me? Yes. Division means making equal shares. Yes. Division means making equal shares. Division means distributing the things equally. Okay. We have to distribute the things equally. Division means making a group, equal groups of things. We have to form a equal groups. Yes. So division means making equal shares. We are distributing the things equally. Okay, students. So this is meant by the division. Now, with the help of the sums, with the help of the examples, we will see what do you mean by division. Okay. So now I am going to share the PPT of division, and we will solve and see some more examples of division. Okay, students. Let me share my PPT. Welcome to the online class, students. Standard third subject mathematics. Our topic is today division by Mrs. Roini teacher. Now see, our topic is division. It is there. The chapter number thirty. See, making equal shares. So with this example, we will see what do we mean by the division. Division means making equal shares. Okay, student. Division means making equal shares. Now, see in this picture, there are the two boys, and mother is there. Now, see Raju's mother gave him six sweets. Six sweets means nothing but six chocolates. Yes or no? So, Raju mothers gave him six sweets. And told him to share it equally with Sanju. So what Raju's mother said, you distribute these six chocolate, six sweets with the Sanju. So now let's see how the Raju will share the chocolates. See now Raju and Sanju. First he gives one sweet for himself. He take one chocolate, one sweet for himself, and gives one sweet to Sanju. 
Okay. Now next, how many chocolates we made? Now after distributing one one chocolate, now four chocolates, four sweets are remain. Four sweets remain from six sweets. Now again, what Raju do? Again he gave one more sweet for himself and one more to Sanju. Again he distributed one more sweet. For himself and one more to Sanju. Now, how many left? Two. After distributing two to chocolates, now how many are left? Two. Now, two sweets remain from six sweets. Yes. Next. Now, see. So, what he did again? He gave one sweet for himself and one to Sanju. Again, he distributed one one sweet. Now, how many sweets are remain? No sweets are remain. It is distributed equally. So, in this way, all sweets have distributed equally. So, how many ch uh, ch chocolates and sweets are distributed? Three, three. One, two, three. Raju got the three chocolate, three sweets. And Sanju also got the three sweets. See, it means each of them got three sweets. So from this, we can say the student division repeated. Division is repeated subtraction. Okay, student. Division is repeated subtraction. This is a making equal shares. Now next, we will see the example, student. See. These are the pictures of some boys and girls. There are the, some boys and girls. Count to see how many children are there. There are some guavas too. Now there are the four children and there are also some guavas. Now what we have to do? They have to be shared equally among the children. Now we have to distribute this guava equally among the children. How will you do that? How we are going to distribute? We have to distribute equally. So let's we will start. See, one, the children's are Anju, second is Suma, third is Meena and the fourth one is Raju. So these are the four children. Now, how they will distribute? Let We will see. Out of that, Anju gets two guavas. Anju took two guavas. Suma gets two guavas. Raju gets two guavas. Now how many are left? Two. Meena gets two guavas. Okay, so in this way, they have distributed the guavas among them. How many guavas did? Each child get yes, students. How many they get? They have got the guavas. Yes, two guavas. Thus, each child gets two guavas. So in this way, they distributed. Now see the next example, students. There are twelve biscuits in a pack. In this pack, there are how many biscuits are there? Total twelve. Equal shares must be given to three children. Now, again, we are going to share these 12 biscuits among them equally. One is Raju, Sanju, and Anita. Okay, now we are going to share it. See, out of 12 biscuits, one is given to Raju. One biscuit we will give, and give to Raju. One is given to Sanju and one is given to Anita. After giving one, one biscuits, how many biscuits will remain? Yes, after distributing one, one biscuits among them. So nine biscuits are remaining out of 12. Now this remaining biscuit, same way we are going to distribute. Likewise, we have to distribute all nine remaining biscuits to Raju, 
Sanju and Anita. After distributing all the biscuits, on sharing the biscuit equally, each one got four biscuits. Yes or no, students? So everyone got, each has got four, four biscuits. So in this way, it is distributed equally. Now let's see, what are these children? There are the fruits. There are total 18 fruits in the basket. If they are shared equally between two people, how many will each get? Yes, now we are going to share this 18 fruits between these two people. So how many will each get? Yes, can you tell me? Yes, so they will get good. They will get the nine fruits each. So two people will get nine fruits each. But children, so in this way, they have distributed equally. Next, now there are again 18 fruits, but now there are the three peoples. Before there were two, now there are three peoples. If these 18 fruits are shared equally between three people, how many will each get? Yes. How many will each get? Good. So, six. Three peoples will get six fruits each. They will get the six fruits. Now, see the next. Now, there are again 18 fruits, but the number of people has increased before. There were three, now as six people. Now there are six people. If these 18 fruits are shared equally between six people, how many will each get? Now there are total six. One, two, three, four, five, six people. Six children are there. Now how you are going to distribute these 18 fruits? How many will each get? Yes, good. Each will get three fruits. Six people will get three fruits each. So in this way, we are going to do the equal sharing. Now see, now we are going to study forming a groups or making a shares or lots. Now we are going to form a lot. We are form a, we will form a group. Now see this, these are which fruit? Yes, these are the mangoes. Everyone likes sweet mangoes. Yes or no? Everyone's favorite fruits. Now see, there are total, how many mangoes are there? Six mangoes. If you are given six mangoes and asked to arrange them in lots, you can do it in two ways. Now we are going to arrange them in a lot, in the two way, in the two method. Okay? In the two form. First, See, in this way, we are going to make a lot. And each lot, there are two, two mangoes. If mangoes in each lot are two mangoes, then the number of lots will be, so how many lots are formed? How many groups are formed? Yes, three groups are formed. And in each lot, three lots are formed. And each lot, there are two mangoes. So see this, children. Yes, so we are going to read this lot one, lot two, lot three. So they are formed three lots. Next, now see. In each group, in each lot, if they are having the mangoes, three. However, if mangoes in each lot are three, now the three mangoes are there in each lot, then the number of lots will be Yes, how many lots are formed? Good, very good. The lots are formed. Two. Then the number of lots would be two. See, lot one, lot two. And in this, in each lot, there are three mangoes. So in this way, we are going to arrange the lot. We are going to form the lots. Now, before there were six mangoes, now there are eight mangoes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If you are given eight mangoes and asked to arrange them in lot, you can do it in a two ways. So how we can make, uh, how we are going to form? See, yes. So in each lot, there are how many mangoes are there? 
One, two, one, two. Yes, there are two, two mangoes. If mangoes in each lot are two, then the number of lots, how many number of lots will be formed? Yes, four lots are formed. Four lots. Lot one, lot two, lot three, lot four. There are the four lots. Now see the next. Again, if mangoes in each lot are four, now in each lot there are four mangoes. So how many number of lots will be formed? Yes, one and two. Only two lots are formed and each there are four mangoes. See, two lots. Got it, children? Yes. Now we will see the next. Now see this. This is one more example of forming a group. Now see this. There were 12 children with Thai. This is a Thai. We are having 12 children. See, 1, 2, 3, 4. Numbers I have given 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now what the Thai said? See. I said, let's play the game of making groups. Now we are going to play a game to form a groups. Okay. This is very interesting game, children. You can play with your friends also. Now see how to form a group. Now see what I said. Listen to the instruction. You must make group of as many children as the number of finger I show. Yes. The thigh will show the finger with the help of that. The numbers we have to uh, say form a group. Now see. Thai showed how many fingers? Thai showed the four fingers. Now students have to form a group. And each group then should be a four child children. See. So how many groups were formed? How many groups will form? Yes, the groups will form. Three and each group there are four children. See the student that I show the four fingers, so they have formed a group of four, four. And see the group one, group two, group three, and each group there are four children. One, two, three, four. See in each group there are four, four children. So three, how many groups were formed? Such three groups were formed. Now again. I made a hand sign of three fingers. Now, Tai has shown three fingers. Now, we are going to form a group and in that group, there should be only three children. See, now four groups were formed. In each group, there are three children. Group one, group two, group three, group four. So, in this way, you can play this game. Now again, Thai made a hand sign of two fingers. Now Thai has shown the two fingers. Now they will form a group. See. Six groups were formed. Okay, Thai showed the two fingers. Now how many groups are formed? Six groups. And each group there are two, two children. Group one, group two, group three, group four, group five, group six. So in this way, you can play this game with your friends, with your family. It is very interesting game, children. So in this way, you will understood how to form a group, equally group. Now see, now we will see the definition of division. What do you mean by division? The division is a method of distributing a group of things into equal parts. Yes. We are, we are going to distribute the things in an equal, equal part. Now see, the meaning of definition, as I told you today, division means distributing things equally. Division means making equal groups of things. Yes, good. Now division means distributing things equally. Division also means making an equal group of things. Division also means taking away the same number of things again and again from a certain number of things. 
we are going to take the number same number again and again with the help of a certain number of given things now the symbol of division you know students what is the symbol of division yes yeah, so there are the two types of symbol the first one you see and the second one we uh, we are going to see the first one for example 12 divided by 3 in this way you are going to put the sign of division so answer is got 4 now see while solving the division student you should know what is dividend divisor quotient and remainder dividend divisor quotient remainder now what do you mean by dividend today the number which is getting divided is called dividend the number which is getting divided we are going to divide is called dividend now next divisor divisor means what the number which divides a given number the number which is given that it is called as divisor the number which divides a given number is called divisor quotient what do you mean by quotient the number which we get as a result the answer which we get by solving the division is known as quotient okay students the number which we get as a result is known as quotient now next remainder the number left over after division process is known as the remainder. So lastly, the number which is left over while solving the division sum, by subtracting the numbers, then lastly, the left over number is called remainder. Now we will see the examples of division. See, now we are going to do the division. See, 4 divided by now see in this way you are going to so you are going to do this division form so we are we are going to write the table of two or we can say the table of two now see four we are going to write it here and two outside that column okay so four divided by two now we are going to say the table of two or we can write the table of two everyone knows the table Yes or no, children, learn the table for solving the multiplication, for solving the division. Okay, now we are going to write the table. Two ones are two, two twos are four. So we got, we are, we are, we should say the table till the answer come four. So at what four came at the place of two, two twos are four. So we are going to write the two up. Two twos are four, and we are going to write the four down. So in this way, we are going to write the division. Two twos are four, and now solve. Now subtract it. Four minus four is yes. Very good. Four minus four is zero. So we are going to write the zero. Now name the numbers. What we are, what we should say. See, four is the dividend. Two is the divisor. And the upper part of the upper number is two is quotient. Okay. And the remaining leftover number is reminder. Remainder. Okay. So dividend is four, divisor is two, quotient is two, remainder is zero. So see, student, in this way you are going to solve the division sum next we will see see 9 divided by 3 same we are going to write 9 3 now we will say see the table of or we are going to write the table of 3 3 ones are 3 3 twos are 6 and 3 threes are 9 so the 9 came at the place of 3 so three threes are nine. We got the answer. So we will write three. Okay, and we are going to write the nine. In this way, we will solve three threes are nine. And nine minus nine is zero. So as you know, the students see nine is dividend, 
three is divisor, three is quotient, and the remaining leftover answer is zero. Dividend is nine, divisor is three, quotient is three, and remainder is zero. So in this way, student, you solve the sum of division. Okay. Now see the next example. A divided by four. So same way you are going to write. See, in this way you are going to solve the division. We are going to write the table of four. Four ones are four. Four twos are eight. We got the answer eight. So four at the place of two, we got the answer eight. So four twos are eight. We will write the two and we will write the eight. So eight minus eight is zero. So mention the number. What is two? Two is quotient, eight is dividend, four is divisor, and zero is remainder. Next. Now see, there was, before we solve a single digit, now there are the two digits we are going to solve. Dividing a two digit number by a single digit number. Now there is a two digit number, 36 divided by two. So we are going to write 36 and outside we will write nine. So we are going to say the number of nine. We are going to write, you can write the num table of nine. Nine ones are nine, nine twos are 18, nine threes are 27. We are going to say the table till the answer come 36. Nine fours are 30. Six. At the place of four, we got the answer 36. So we will write four. So nine fours are 36. In this way, you are going to write. Okay, student. So 36 minus 36 is what? Yes, good. 36 minus 36 is zero. Remainder will be zero. And four is what? Quotient. And 36 is dividend. 9 is divisor and the leftover answer is 0. See. What is student? Next, we will see. The next is 42 divided by 7. See, I have already solved for you the sum. See, in this way, we are going to do the division. 42 divided by 7. We are going to say the table of 7. 7 1s are 7, 7 2s are 14, 7 3s are 21, 7 4s are 28, 7 5s are 35, 7 6s are 42. At the place of 6, we got 42. So we are going to write the 6 and 42. 7 6s are 42. 42 minus 42 is 0. Same, 49 divided by 6. Okay, student, now we are going to divide 49 divided by 6. Now we are going to write the table of 6. We are going to say the table of 6. 6 ones are 6, 6 twos are 12. We are going to write till the answer come 49. 6 threes are 18, 6 fours are 24, 6 fives are 30, 6 six are 36. Yes, 6 sevens are 42, 6 eights are 48, 6 nines are 54. Now, students see, we can't write the number, bigger number 54, because here 49 is a small number. So, we should see the number which is near to the 49. Okay, we are going to see the small number which is near to the 49. So, which number is near to the 49? Yes, 48 is the near number. So at the place of 8, we got the answer 48. So we are going to write 8 and 48 down. Now we are going to the subtracted. 9 minus 8 is, 9 minus 8 is 1. And 4 minus 4, 0. So the remainder is 1. We got the remainder 1. Dividend 49, divisor 6, question 8, remainder 1. 58 divided by 8. Same way we are going to solve student. We are going to write the table of 8. 8 1s are 8, 8 2s are 16, 8 3s are 24. 
Eight fours are thirty-two. Eight fives are forty. Student, eight sixes are forty-eight. Yes, say the table of eight. Eight sevens are eight sevens are fifty-six. Eight eights are sixty-four. So, as I told you, we can't write the bigger number. We are going to write the smaller number, which is near to the fifty-eight. So, which number we have got, which is near to the fifty-eight? Yes, very good. The number is fifty-six. So at the place of seven, we got the answer fifty-six. So we will write seven, and we are going to write fifty-six. So fifty-eight minus fifty-six, eight minus six. How many remain? Do the subtraction, student. Eight minus six, we got the answer two, and five minus five is zero. Understood, children. Same with twenty-six divided by five. Here we are going to say the table of five. Five ones are five. Five twos are ten. Five threes are fifteen. Five fours are twenty. Five fives are twenty-five. Five sixes are thirty. Again, the number near to the twenty-six is twenty-five. So we are going to write the twenty-five. So five fives are Twenty-five at the place of five, we got the answer twenty-five. Six minus five is one, and two minus two is zero. Five is the quotient. Remember this, children. Five is the quotient. Twenty-six is dividend. Five is the divisor, and one the leftover is the leftover number is remainder. Now we will see the word problem also, students. Now see this. The carton can hold eight ladoos. How many cartons will be needed to pack forty-eight ladoos? Let's work out. Cartons means in one box there are eight ladoos can hold. Now, how many cartons? How many box will be needed to pack forty-eight ladoos? So, how we can find it out? This answer. Now we have to pack the forty-eight ladoos. So what we are going to do? How many cartons we will need? Let's work out. Now let's work that out. See, we know that total numbers of ladoos are forty-eight. In this carton, there are eight ladoos, and these are forty-eight ladoos. Now what we are going to do? We will do the division. See, then the number of cartons required can be obtained by dividing. We are going to divide it forty-eight by eight. See, in this way, we are going to do the division. Forty-eight divided by eight. Now say the table of eight. Yes, eight six are forty-eight. So the answer comes out to be six. Okay, so we will need six carton for forty-eight. Let's do see. The number of cartons required are six. So one, two, three, four, five, six cartons we required. We will need six box. Okay, students. Now see the next one carton can hold ten tiles. So in one carton, how many tiles can hold ten? There are the ten tiles in one box in one carton. A certain room needs to be sixty tiles for. For the floor in the room, how many in a room? In a, how many tiles we needed? Sixty tiles. How many cartons of tile will be needed? So, for how many cartons we will need? Yes, again we are going to do the division. We know that the total numbers of tiles are sixty. So, we are going to do the division. See, if the number of tiles in one cartons are ten. So then, the number of cartons required can be obtained by dividing sixty by ten. So we are going to do the division. See, ten tens are sixty, ten six are sixty. So six we got the answer. Six is the quotient. Sixty is the dividend. Ten is the divisor, and remainder is yes, very good. The remainder is zero. The answer does come out to be six. So we need. Six. The number of cartons required are six. Now, student, this will be the homework for you. You will solve some division sums. Okay.
understood children how to solve the division sum one uh, some more examples i will show you on board okay i will show you examples on the board now see divide we are going to divide it okay yes first thirty six divide by nine so thirty six divide by nine thirty six is divided and nine is divisor we are going to do the division so how we are going to solve we are going to solve in this way see yes very good imran how many good yes good see we are going to write the thirty six year and nine Okay, student. Now, so all you are going to say the table of nine. Nine one the nine. Nine two the eighteen. Nine three the twenty-seven. Nine four the thirty-six. So we will write four years, and we are going to write the thirty-six in this way. Yes. So in a proper step by step, you are going to solve the division. Now, minus subtracted. Yes, Rohit. Good. Six minus six zero. Three minus three zero. So see, four is what? Who will tell me? Four is what? Is a quotient, dividend, or remainder? What is the four? The number four is what? Who will tell me? Yes, very good, Aditi. The four is a quotient. Very good. So you are going to write a quotient. Good. Can you tell me what is this nine? As I told you before, what is this nine? The nine is what? Divisor. Yes, Aditi. Divisor. We are going to write here divisor. Okay. Next. And this thirty-six. Thirty-six is what? Dividend, Janki. Very good, Janki. Dividend, dividend. In this way, we are going to write. And this leftover zero is what? Thirty-six minus thirty-six is zero. So yes, Roshni. Very good. Zero is remainder. Okay. So in this, in a proper way, you are going to solve the division. One more example, we will see student. Wait. Second. Forty-two divided by seven. Yes, Bauna. Good. Again, we are going to solve in this way. We are going to write here forty-two. Here we will write seven. So say the table of seven. At which place? At what place we got the seven? For for the the answer forty-two. Seven six the forty-two. Yes, very good. Good. So seven six the forty-two. Zero, zero. Forty-two minus forty-two. Yes, zero. Very good, John. Now again, in this way, you are going to write six is six is what? Yes, six is quotient. Yes, good. Seven. Yes, seven is divisor. This forty-two is dividend. Yes, very good. All everyone is giving a good answer. Dividend. This is dividend. 
and this will be remainder. Okay. Yes, very good, Aditi. Shape. Women, very good. So, in this way, you are going to solve your division. Got it, student? Okay, student. Try to solve, try to practice more and more sum of division. Okay. I hope you all have understood how to solve the division sum. Yes, I'm good. Thank you, student. Do the practice.